Plotting digital data with Makerplot can come from several sources. We're going to show you two right now. One is a manual way using the log debug immediate window. And another one is going to be more automatic uh, using code in our Arduino Uno shield. So let's start with the manual way. Let's come up here first of all and turn our plotting on. We need to turn plotting on for us to see anything, even in a manual sense. Notice that we're not connected. If we connected, we would be connected to our Arduino shield. So we don't want that at the moment. So we just want to have our plot icon depressed so that we are now plotting data. And even though we don't see any data being plotted, our invisible cursor is moving along from left to right. So let's first of all reset the plot. Come back up here and get our log debug immediate window down. We want to be able to click the digital checkbox for digital data. We also want to make sure that our scroll checkbox is checked as well so we can scroll the data. Let's begin by entering some digital data and we start with a percent sign and we're going to enter eight bits so we're going to go zero 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 enter that do another one let's say one 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 okay there we begin to plot some digital data let's do another one which uh, is zero one zero one zero one zero one in square waves and we notice, of course, that on the right-hand side, our binary data is reflecting our digital input along with the various bits of the LEDs being illuminated or extinguished. Then we can do another one, let's say 10101010 and so forth, 00110011. OK, this is how to plot data manually. The important thing to realize, though, is the fact that you can test whatever you're trying to do, let's say for your microcontroller code, directly in Makerplot before you even code your sketch. And you can do that using the log debug immediate window. You can pre-plot the data that you want to affect in your microcontroller code by coming to the log debug immediate window first. What it shows you in the window is the exact data that you input. All right, let's switch over to the automatic mode. Let's first of all drop our log debug immediate window, reset the plot, turn our rocker switch on, and now we have eight bits of data coming from our Arduino Uno. And before we get much further into this, let's examine the Arduino code Come over here and we notice that it's a very, very simple sketch. We start off with one variable, which is x equal to zero. Our setup is also equally simple. We have a serial dot begin at 9600 baud. That's the baud rate we're going to be sending data to Makerplot. And then for our loop, we have a for loop, and that's going from x equals zero to 255. And we're going to start our digital data sample by sending out the percent sign with a open square bracket. Then we're going to follow that by printing the value of x. And then we're going to follow that by a print line with a space ADC8. Now, notice that the ADC8 is a Makerplot specific instruction. And what it's going to do is it's going to take whatever value x is at at the moment, and it's going to create an 8-bit digital value for it. Note, of course, that there is a space between the first A of the ADC. So this is important to uh, realize. And then we're going to follow that with a uh, delay of 100 milliseconds between outputs. So let's go back to our Makerplot plot, and there it is. We can see that our digital data is being plotted as it goes across the screen. Let's change the time scale a bit so that we can see the data more clearly, especially at the least significant bit area. And then let's come back up here to the log debug immediate window. 
Now we see that the digital data is rapidly being displayed in our window. So to see it more statically, let's turn off our plot. And then we can expand our window out. And we can see every piece of data that was sent from our Arduino. So if there is a glitch in your your code or you're looking to find a specific pattern, this is the way to do it by using the log debug immediate window. Because remember, this logs the data and it's for debug. And we can also, as we've seen before earlier, we can key in immediate values directly into a maker plot at any time. So again, this is a short but I think effective way of showing you how Makerplot can both plot data and how you can actually use the log debug immediate window for debugging purposes.